Hello guys, welcome to this class. So before discussing the MongoDB installation and starting with the steps for installing MongoDB, I would like to discuss what are the components or what all things will we need to have a successful version of MongoDB installed on our system. So we should be able to have a local copy of the database, which is a database server. And we should have a way using which we can query the database. All right. So there are a few components that we should understand and learn about. So the first thing is the MongoDB server. So we will be needing a MongoDB server wherein we will have a copy of our database, which will be running locally. And we will need a way to access this database. Now, as you can see over here, there are two ways in which you can access or connect to the database. One is using the MongoDB shell, which is also known as Mongosh. And you have MongoDB compass. So MongoDB shell is nothing but a JavaScript interface. It is a command prompt essentially, but it's built on top of JavaScript. And this shell can be used to execute commands to get the data and to play around with it. So this is one thing that we will be needing. And then there is another thing called as MongoDB compass. So shell is a console, I can say a terminal and MongoDB compass is a graphical user interface or a GUI using which you can connect to the MongoDB server. So these are the two ways in which you can connect to the MongoDB database. One is the interactive shell, which is built on top of JavaScript called MongoDB shell or Mongoosh. And then we have MongoDB compass, which is a graphical user interface. It's a nice UI using which you can play around with the database. This is what MongoDB comprises of. All right. And before beginning the installation, it's important that you understand this. Next, what are the installation options for MongoDB? The first one is the community edition. And then you also have MongoDB available as an enterprise edition. Let's hop on to our browser and let's see what they are. So here I am on Google Chrome and I have Google open here. You can use any browser of your choice. So I'll search for MongoDB here. The moment you search and hit enter, you will see the first link over here which is mongodb.com. So I'll click on the same and by clicking, you will be taken to the official website of MongoDB. And at the top, you will have a few menu options. So you have products, which highlights different products that MongoDB has. So here you have Atlas, which is nothing but the MongoDB version installed and available in cloud. Then you have the enterprise edition, and then you have the community edition. So if you click on enterprise edition, you're taken to this page, which describes the feature of the enterprise edition over here. You can read more about this feature. Also, this enterprise edition of MongoDB is a paid version. So you can click on pricing at the top and here you can select enterprise advanced. So here you will, okay, they are not displaying the prices. You have to contact sales, but it's a paid version of MongoDB. We won't be using the paid version of MongoDB. In fact, we will be selecting products over here, hover on the products, and then just go to the community edition. So this is the community edition that we will be using. So the community edition is a free version, which you can download and set up on your local machine. Free edition is enough for us to learn and become a MongoDB expert. All right. So this is something that we will be using. And these are the different options that are available with MongoDB when you think about setting up your own MongoDB server. All right. So to begin with, I would request you all to open your browser and hop over to google.com and search over here MongoDB. Okay. We will be seeing this first link over here, which is of the official website mongodb.com. Just head over to the website, hover on the products and head over to the community edition. So MongoDB is available in the two editions, enterprise and community. And we will be installing the community edition, which is also free. So I'll just scroll down over here and you can see over here, this is the latest version 6.0.3 platform is windows. It has auto detected. And what we are downloading is the MSI package. All right, so this is the installer. This version might be different depending on when you're watching this video. That's absolutely fine if you see a different version number over here. 
because MongoDB keeps on releasing newer version. So like you can see, there is an upcoming release 6.0.4, all right? And 6.0.3 is the current one. So we will just hit download over here, save the file on our local machine. I won't be downloading this file in this lecture because I have already downloaded it on my local machine. I'll switch over to my desktop. So here you can see we have these two files. So this is the MongoDB installer. So I'll just double click. You will see this welcome screen over here. This is the welcome screen for the setup wizard, which is for 64 bit. If you click next, you will be seeing this terms and conditions page, which you can go through if you wish to, but I'll just say I accept and I'll head over. Now here you have the setup type. So you have to choose what kind of setup you wish to do. So you have a custom type, okay, wherein you can select what you want to install or you can go back and say complete. So I'll just go ahead and install the complete version. Okay. Now here next screen that you will see is for the service configuration. So here you have to tell how you want to install MongoDB server. Do you want to install it as a service or no? So I wish to install MongoDB as a service, which means MongoDB will be as a service and you can start and stop the service based on your requirements. Also, you can see other configuration options like the service name, the data directory. This is the directory where our data will be stored. Okay. So on our local system, this installation or MongoDB will be using this path to store all the data. And then you have the log directory. All right. So I have not modified anything over here. This is by default checked install MongoDB as a service. So I'll just say next. Now on the next screen, you will see install MongoDB compass. So what is MongoDB compass? So this is nothing but the official graphical user interface for MongoDB. So you can keep this checked and you can proceed next. And by doing this compass will also be installed on your system. I'll just, and if you uncheck, and if you say next, it won't be installed. So if you uncheck, then you can definitely go ahead and install it from the official website. Let me show you how. So here on the downloads page, you can select tools and here you have an option to install compass. You can see over here and you can select and install. All right. So this is something that we are not doing right now. I'll keep this unchecked. I won't be installing MongoDB compass, but you can have it installed. That's perfectly fine. I'll say next. This is the summary screen. I'll say install. Okay. You will see this permission screen. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? And I'll say yes. All right. Here it is showing me some more options. So it is saying that the following applications are using the files. Okay. So here I have something called as JetBrains toolbox installed. JetBrains toolbox is using some of the files that are needed to be updated by MongoDB. Hence I'm getting this pop-up. You might not get this and the installation might be successful for you. Okay. But since I'm getting this, I'll just say close the applications and attempt to restart them. So I'll say close. You can see the progress continues and it is copying new files as of now. All right. So the installation has been successful as you can see, and I'll say finish. So the installation is done over here to check what you can do is you can head over to search over here and I can say services. So you can search for services and I can say open now here. So these are all these services on my system. So, and these are alphabetically ordered. So I can just say M and I'll be taken to all the services that start with M. And since our service name was MongoDB, so we need to look for the MongoDB server over here. So you can see over here, MongoDB is the service name and it is known as MongoDB server and it is running right now. Okay. So this is how the service is created in our machine or in our system. And this is something that you specified during the installation that you want it to install as a service. Now you can stop this as well. So I'll, I can stop from here, right click stop. And you can see it's not running now or I can start it from here. It's running now. Alternatively, you can also start and stop from the terminal. So I'll just go to terminal on my machine. Like you have to run a command. You can say net start MongoDB. Okay. So yeah, I'll just expand this so that the visibility is better. 
So net start MongoDB. Okay, access is denied. All right. And we know why it's denied because we have not started the terminal or the shell as an administrator. So to start or stop any service on your system, you need to start the terminal as an administrator. So I'll say terminal, I'll right click here and I'll say run as administrator. And I'll say yes. All right. Now here I can say net stop MongoDB. So since our server is already running over here, here, I'll just say net stop MongoDB and I'll hit enter. So it's stopping and here, okay, it's not updated over here. So I need to hit refresh and you can see it's updated to stop. Okay. I can even start the service from here. So I can say net start MongoDB the service was started successfully. You can hit refresh and see it's running. All right. So we have the database server set up and installed on our system. Now what we need to do is we have the database server up and running. We know how to start and stop it. Now we need to figure out a way or we need to have a way using which you can access and connect and run queries to the database. So there are two ways in which you can do this. One is by using MongoDB shell, which is known as Mongoosh, and you have something called as MongoDB Compass, which is a graphical user interface. So we will be using MongoDB shell to learn the queries that we need to know. What I'm going to do is I am going to head over again to my browser here. To install the MongoDB shell, you have to go to products. You have to go to the right side and here you can select shell. All right, you can select tools as well. So under tools, you will see shell over here. So either you directly go to shell or you select the tools and go to shell. And you can read a little bit over here about what MongoDB shell is. All right, so you can see it lets you connect to the MongoDB. It allows you to work with your data and configure your database. All right, here are some of the features like syntax highlighting, error messages, autocomplete. It's helpful. And this will be very helpful for us to learn the MongoDB commands that will allow us to work with the data that we store in our database. All right, I'm just going to scroll up and I'm going to say download now. So you're taken to the same page from where you downloaded the community edition of MongoDB. Here you are under this MongoDB shell tab. So you can select the version and here under platform for Windows 64 bit, you have two options, 64 bit and the 64 bit MSI. So this will give you the zip file, but I'll choose the MSI installer. Okay. And the package will also be MSI. So I won't be actually pressing the download button right now. All right. Because I have already downloaded it and saved it on my desktop. All right. But you can download this and I'll start with the installation process. So I'll switch over to my desktop. So here I'll just close this services window. I'll just close this as well. Now here you can see I have the installer for Mongoosh. This is called Mongoosh, which is the MongoDB shell. So I'll just double click on this and you will see a welcome screen, which says welcome to MongoDB shell setup wizard. I'll say next. This is the path where it will install. Okay. And I'll just keep this checked because I just want to install it for myself on my system. If you have multiple users, okay, you can even get this installed for all. Okay. But I'll just keep it installed for myself. I don't want all the users in the system to have this. I'll say next and I'll say install. All right. So pretty straightforward. You have to say finish. Now the installation for the MongoDB shell is done. Now we need to figure out a way as to how we can access it. So to access it, we will head over to search and we'll open PowerShell. So here I have a version of PowerShell up and running. And then you can run the command. I'll say Mongosh. So this is the command that you need to run. So if I say Mongosh and if I press enter, you can see I have logged in to the MongoDB shell. I have connected to the local version of the database. You can just check this information that is printed over here. So it says connecting to this is our local database server. So when we installed the MongoDB server and when we started the service, the version of the database, like the local version of the database is up and running on this URL at this port. So if you have to connect to the local database instance, you have to use this database URL. And that is what it is connected to. Okay. And you can see 
the Mongosh logo log ID. Okay, this is the version. All right, and you can see some information that is being printed over here. All right, you can run some database commands like you can say show DBS, which will show you all the databases that exist over here. This confirms that we have successfully installed the Mongo shell and the local database server. So that's about the installation on Windows guys. I hope you guys have a fair clarity and I hope you guys have been able to set it up with me on your local system. I hope you guys enjoyed this class and found it valuable. I shall see you guys soon. Thank you.